Hello friends. Now we have finished writing the main function. If you compare the previous program with this program, what is the difference between that first program's main function, this program's main function? In this program, what are the additional things you see? This is the main. Above that, what is written? Three prototypes, function prototypes we have written because three functions we have to define. That's why three function prototypes we have uh, defined. Here, uh, declaration section, declaration of variables we made. Thereafter, uh, reading values we made. And uh, here, calling functions. What is the difference between first program and second program? In the first program, there is an ordinary sequential program. No prototypes are there. Declaration section is there. Reading section is there. Processing section and the output section is there. Actually, here, a processing section and the output sections are not there. What are there? Calling functions are there. That means, processing is made outside the main function. We defined three experts, three specialists, or three functions. They will do that. They will do the processing and they will demonstrate uh, the output. That point you have to understand. Now, let us focus on the definitions of the function. This is a very core job. If you already study the concepts, you never have any confusion. Understand every bit of code meticulously. Now, first function definition. Calculate floor area. For that, int length and breadth. Actually, variable names, actual argument names, length and breadth I define. Here, parameter names, length and breadth. Because, if you want to write here also length and breadth, you write. Then what you think? That and this are same. Both are not same. Length value is copied into length in the parameter. Breadth actual argument value is copied into breadth. This is a formal parameter. That point you have to understand. For a length and breadth actual argument, a separate memory locations are created. For the formal arguments or parameters, separate uh, variables are created. That point you must understand. That's why I use a different name. Always use that. Okay. Slightly different name used for parameters. Okay. Now, within the body of the function, what you have written? One local variable we have defined. Int floor area is equal to length into breadth. What is the formula? Floor area is equal to length into breadth length into breadth we are writing. Thereafter, we are returning return statement, return floor area. We are doing. So, second function, four walls area. <coughs> what is the formula? 2h into l plus b, 2 into h height into l plus b within parenthesis. You have to write. And now, which values you have to pass? Three values you have to pass. Length, breadth and height. So, that are the parameters we have written. And within that, Within the body of the function, what is here written? Int uh, walls for area, that is the local variable, 2 into height into length and breadth. Actually, which names you used for parameters, those names only you, have, you must use uh, within the body of the function. That point you have to understand, that value we are returning. Same for thing, one time. Just if you don't have much confidence, you copy that, nothing wrong, one program not every program. This program you copy that and while copying also understand every bit. Okay. Blindly don't do anything. You never get any doubt. And one more thing I am telling you. If you some doubts are not clarified by studying my concepts, you write to me. I give a more explanatory videos. Thereafter, demo room. Demo room is displaying room dimensions. I want to do shorter name. You are able to understand na? demo demo room. So, which we are passing care, room name, I simple name I have used RNM, RNM is represent room name, as it is a string, we are writing that, thereafter, into length, into breadth, into height, into floor area, into four walls, so five integer values are there, five parameters I have created with the shorter name, thereafter, I have written the output section, actually, as I told you already, <coughs> with reference to first program, 
I have given a set of concepts. In that, in that I explained how to write output statements using printf and SA sequence. You should not be lazy. If you don't study that, then every time for every program you have to pay penalty. One just one hour practice you make. Huh? One hour is also not required. Just half an hour practice you make on printf and SA sequences. Thereafter, for every C program, you will be very comfortable in writing output. Okay. Now, you write this, write this carefully. It should be elegantly presented, just like not dumping. Results are different, formatted output is different. Results are just dumping of results. Output formation means those are elegantly served. Okay. You should format it properly. After that, you execute the program. Then, uh, you see the output. How elegantly you are able to present the output, you see. Actually, everything, just yes, see the output. Here, units, with the professional approach, you know, colleges and all that, you may not care for that. Here, units you write. <coughs> Suppose, here, length called breadth, sorry, length feet, that is feet. Thereafter, breadth feet, height also feet. Area is concerned, SFT, square feet. Four walls area, SFT. Now, your output should be presented in this manner. 